when it comes to life events. We are coming to you live from the corridors of the Ghana for Oil Association, where the much awaited, the much Tenka Directorate has been mandated to select 15 coaches who will belong to an elite group and these 15 coaches will be offered the opportunity to add value to themselves by way of attachment across the borders of Ghana. It is a strategy that has the full blessing of the Minister of Youth and Sports and together with the Ministry of Youth and Sports, our coaches will be offered the opportunity to learn and to get more ideas and to add value to what they already have. And obviously, that will go a long way in helping not only our national teams, but our domestic clubs. It's a new strategy that will be pursued vigorously by the Tinker Directorate and it will be, it's part of the attempt of our football association to add value to our coaches in this country. Finally, we are here, and I think that the football association, through the hard work of the three-month subcommittee, this is blessings. <laughs> somebody, say, somebody will say that when the sea becomes rough, fishes don't gee. So light off or no light off, the program will continue. Is that not it? Okay, so we set up a, a three-man committee led by the vice president to go into the market, headhunt for new men to lead our senior most national team, the Black Stars. They've gone through the process and we have our target well secured. Coach Milovan, we all know already. He was in Ghana between the years 2008 and 2010. Perhaps those two years were the years Ghana achieved the most in association football. The years 2008-2010 saw Ghana go to the finals of the AFCON, saw Ghana go to the finals of the CHAN, saw Ghana go to the quarterfinals of the World Cup, but for Suarez, and positive would have been in the semifinals. And in 2009, together with Salah Stete, we won the U20 World Cup in Egypt. Those were the glory years of Ghana football. And those years were masterminded by one person. We have finally been able to bring back here. Yes, we have played one game. We have played two games, won one and lost one, which makes our desire to go to the Mundial very, very challenging. 
but we believe that with the right strategy, with the right planning, with the right personnel, both technical and playing body, our Black Stars will be able to hit the target of envy and qualify us to the Mundial. When we knew that Coach Milovan was available We were very sure that he, he is the right man for us. And from the work of the subcommittee, from the work of the council, and our engagement with the Minister of Youth and Sports, we are happy that today Milovan Raivak is here with us. He has all the experience, he's seen it before, he has been there. And we believe that with the right levels of support from the Football Association and from your good selves, he together with the rest of the technical team will be able to deliver exactly what we want. Coach Milovan will be assisted by two able people, two able coaches, who have also served Ghana at varied levels. And I'm happy to say that one of the two coaches is our own coach Maxwell Kunedu. I think that if you want to talk about people who have the right level of quality, the temperament, who has been there, and who have the right level of experience to assist Coach Milovan. Obviously, the committee and the FA would not look beyond Coach Maxwell Kunedu. We believe that with Maxwell, right by the side of Milovan, our Black Stars will go places. Next to Milovan, again, will be Coach Otto Ado, who is currently a coach of Borussia Dortmund in Germany. And having worked with Hamburg, having worked with Dortmund, having played for Hanover, and having worked previously in 2013 with Ghana, Coach Otto is well placed to again and also assist Coach Milovan to deliver the new agenda. So we will have a new tanker team led by Coach Milovan to be assisted by Coach Maxwell Kunedu and Coach Otto Ado. Of course, we already have Coach Richard Kingston, who is here with us. He retains his position as the GoQuest trainer for the team. Coach Olele, as you affectionately call him, was with us at the Mondial in 2010. He's seen it all. And we have absolute belief in what he brings to the table. I'm very sure that you'll be more interested, or perhaps you'll be interested in other details of this engagement. And I allow our general secretary to speak to a few issues before Coach Milovan will address everybody here. Thank you.
intervention of the head coach and um, just to allay the to lay bare some of the facts in terms of terms of the contract so that we don't have um, speculations and in line with our uh, transparency we just want to give you a few of the facts and I must say that this has been a, a very hard fought budget and so even though normally we did not give the contractual details in terms of people's um, remuneration deems it appropriate to give some of the facts to our dear nation. Okay. So, Thank you. Thank you. so first of all, the tenor of the agreement is for a year. And if the coach is able to qualify us for the World Cup, automatically extends to the end of February 2023, meaning it will go to the World Cup and also take us to the following outcome, which will be played in January to February 30,000 US dollars instead of 30,000 euros in the past. Again, as we have it in all the other coaches' contract, the milestones and the We have it in all the previous contracts. If the coach is able to achieve by qualifying us to the World Cup, he stands to be entitled to a sum of 300,000 US dollars. Again, unlike the previous one where we had 370. to our arts, the coach would also be entitled to the same amount. And all these amounts are in dollars and not euros. Also, we have a clause which talks about agency. I know it's something that comes up every time. This time we have it in the contract. It talks about no agents involved. So in these negotiations, the coach did not have any agent, and the football association also did not have any agent. I want to repeat that. <laughs> <laughs> I would 
laughing because Dr. Hanjawi was saying that the three-man committee could have been the agent for the LP. <laughs> <laughs> so that they are paid accordingly. But again, let me repeat, there are no agents involved. There was no agent for the association and there was no agent for the coach. We went directly and dealt with the coach. This is important to us and it's also important to the coach. So together we all insisted that it should be in the contract and it is in the contract. Okay, so linked to the agency is another clause which says that should the coach be found to be dealing with an agent or intermediary for players, it's a ground for termination and there are consequences. So it's also in the contract. So we are very clear about this particular topic. Again, I want to make it very clear that unlike the previous contract, this time around, the coach will pay his own interpreter. So that's also very clear, which is also good for us. It will be part of the team, and so like every member of the team, if we travel with the, uh, he travels with the team, of course, same as every member who travels with the team, he will have a room and then he will work uh, as normal, as uh, all the members of the team. I, I think I will end here by saying that all the other terms are the same um, as has been provided in other contracts, and we've worked very hard to ensure that um, we've reached this agreement, even though it was a tough bargain, and Coach and his lawyer are tough customers, but um, we have an agreement uh, both parties have signed, and so we are extremely grateful that we could reach this agreement for us to be here today to unveil the coach. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much, um, General Secretary. Before the coach speaks, let me just say that uh, Coach Milliman and his team arrived in Ghana on Sunday evening. On Sunday evening. Obviously, um, to continue with the with the process. In between time, he started to work, and I'm happy to say that Coach Milovan has in his custody video footages of all the ten games that the Blasters have played. He's watched all the games. I think tonight he's watching the games from the U20 tournament. That tells us that he's already started working, even before today's event. Taking note of the fact that we have two weeks to the all important two duels against Zimbabwe. So, coach arrived in Ghana on Sunday. Whilst he continued to engage, he started looking at footages from all the previous engagements by our Black Stars. And I'm sure that when we line up again against Zimbabwe in Cape Coast, our Black Stars will be ready. We are super happy that we found our man. We are very grateful that he agreed to come, even though the terms were not what he would expect. But one thing that he's always said is that he, has, he feels he has unfinished business here with Ghana. And that is the biggest motivation for him and his team. And for who he is and for what he has achieved with Ghana, we firmly believe that this is not Matra Makwe. 
This is not Matra Makwe. This is not Matra Makwe. Because he's done it. He knows Ghana. He knows our culture. He knows our players. He knows our attitude. He knows our food. For which reason, we firmly believe that we have the right man in place. We have the right team in place to support him. In Maxwell Kunedu and Otto Ado, Richard Kingston and the rest. And with your undiluted support, we firmly believe that the team would achieve its desired target. I'm sure if I were to go around, everybody has an opinion as to who should be the coach of Ghana. Everybody here has an opinion. Everybody here would have a different opinion as to why Mr. A must be and why Mr. B must not be. But please, my appeal to everybody here is that we have a coach in place. A coach who is very experienced, a coach who knows our country, who knows our mentality, which is very, very crucial, and a coach who has the respect of our players, and a coach who controls that dressing room of Ghana. We shouldn't forget Kevin Barton was here, Sule Montari was here, Michael Essien was here, Stephen Apia was here, Anthony Anna was here, Olele Kingston was here, they all played under him. They all shared that dressing room. We had no problems. So we know our dressing room is secured. That's a big step. So let's all give the new team the support they need. We all have our opinions. I keep saying this. I've had different levels of commentaries. Whether we should drink Milo or we should drink Soboro. But we have Milo on the table. That's what we have to drink. Beyond this, we only have one Black Stars. Not two. So it's important we support the team. It's important we support the Tenkara team to be able to achieve. Now that we have a new team in place, please, let's start thinking positive. Let's start thinking it can be done. Let's stop doubting the process. The new journey starts from today. Let's show positive energy towards the team. Oini, I'm talking to you, Brenya. It's you I'm talking to. I hope you listened. <laughs> I took you by surprise. Yeah. Let's be positive towards our black stars. It's all that we have. Let's not be quick in spewing out negative stories because we think we have exclusives. Now in Ghana, everything is breaking news. Please, let's be supportive of our national team. If we do well, and if we qualify to the Mundial, all of us will enjoy from the multiple benefits that the Mundial comes with. Because I know everybody here wants to be in Qatar. That's why we have to change the language. Positive energy. Let's try to believe that it can be done. Whatever has happened yesterday is gone. If you look on the screen, these were the days when our blasters glowed. The days we thought we could even win the World Cup. Can you bring me the footage again? Lights off, please. The days we thought we could even win the World Cup, but for Suarez. These were the days we competed up to the grand finale of the AFCON. 
We were in the finals of the Chan. We won the U20 World Cup. We want to go back to those days. But before that, we need positive energy. Thank you very much. I think um, Coach will take his turn. I'm sure all of you are eager to listen to him. I'm sure some of you have loads of questions. I know Sadiq, is that Sadiq? You will have some good questions. Muftar will have some good questions. But let me say to Sadiq and Muftar, don't doubt the process. <laughs> don't laugh. Don't doubt. All of us here have opinions. All of us here have opinions. All of us here have opinions. You may be right in your opinion, but that, no, not, that may not be our opinion. That doesn't mean we are wrong. If we make it to the Mundial, Muftao, you want to be there. You'll be more motivated to go to the Mundial if we make it. Let's support the course. Thank you very much. Thank you, the media. I think that, um, by and large, you've been very supportive. I mean, we can never be perfect. Criticism is allowed. But there are a lot of positive news around football in Ghana. Let's push the positive energy into the public space. Thank you very much. I love that flag. Thank you. So thank you very much. Um, just like a proud president of the association.